Hello, uh, and welcome to this virtual graduation ceremony uh, for the Japan Center for Michigan Universities. This is going to close the 2019 fall and 2020 spring semester program uh, for JCMU. Uh, first of all, students, I want to say I miss you. We all miss you here at JCMU. Uh, the dorm is way too quiet and, uh, and just we really miss the energy, the positive things that you've brought here. I think that's where I want to start today in talking with you at this uh, closing ceremony, is that uh, even though you're in Japan for what may seem like a really short time, you accomplished so many things. Uh, I think it can be really easy with especially studying something like Japanese language to feel like you didn't accomplish very much. Language is one of those things, it's always growing and, uh, and expanding and there's new words and new vocabulary, uh, new grammar structures to learn. So it can feel like a bit like staring at the sun. You know, you, you're, you're looking at this thing and it's just way too bright and way too much to take in. Uh, but don't, I hope you don't feel that way. I hope you feel like you accomplished a lot because you absolutely did. And even though you were here for, for not a full semester, but a, a short time, you spent that time really, really well. Uh, I can tell you that because a lot of people have called up here concerned about you, wondered what's going on. Where are the American students? We miss all those people riding around with their bicycle helmets on. Uh, we got lots of inquiries and questions, and it shows that you had a definite impact on the community here. And that's really uh, the thing that we want, uh, what we want you to do while you're here, is have an impact and enjoy the community. Uh, while you're, of course, in the United States, probably still quarantined or quarantined in your home country. Uh, it may seem that the, the world is moving on without you uh, and, that, uh, and that all of the skills and things that you picked up here, your intercultural understanding and your ability to navigate a foreign culture and society, uh, that those skills are, are not being used. And while that's true, when this world emerges uh, from this pandemic, uh, we're gonna need people like you People who are bold and who have the character to go out and uh, to create opportunities and reconnect with people. Uh, because what we've probably really learned through all of this is that the connections we make with people, the connections we make with different cultures are lifelong and they change us in a lot of ways. Uh, and hopefully all of those positive changes that you experienced have set you up perfectly to be the person and the people that we need in the world to come. And you're probably also thinking right now that, uh, wow, I really miss Japan. Uh, and you know, I can understand that. And, and I know that you would really rather be here. The truth is, knowing JCMU students like I do, I know that most of you are gonna come back. Even though that will maybe doesn't feel like that's gonna happen right now, I know that that's true. You wanna know why I know that? I know that from personal experience because obviously I came back to Japan many times. Actually, I think, from when I left JCMU until I came back as the director here, I was back in Japan at least once a year, every year. Uh, if you want that kind of life, that's what's gonna happen for you. Uh, other JCMU students, you are joining uh, a unique group of people, of graduates or people who have finished this program. There's over 3,000 of you out there in the world now. Many of uh, your, your senpai work in Jap with Japanese companies or American companies doing work with Japan or have come back and live permanently or semi-permanently in Japan as well. So I know that if that's what you want, that's the future that's going to be available for you. And again, I think the world is going to need people who are ready, willing, and able to come out and to join uh, this post-pandemic world. So I look back, I look forward to having you come back to Japan and uh, just know that when you do come back, if you get a bicycle, I will not make you wear a helmet anymore. So with that, uh, thank you again for a wonderful uh, time. It was great to have you here in Japan and I really, really hope to see all of you in Hikone again. Thank you so much and congratulations on finishing this very difficult program. あ、
慣れていないこともあって時々大変でしたが一方でなかなか面白い経験でもありました私にとって一番嬉しかったことは毎日のようにクラスの学生の元気な顔をコンピューターで見れたことですこの楽器の経験は皆さんにとっても私にとっても初めてのものだと思います皆さんが日本でしてみたかったことももっとあったに違いありませんそれができなかったのは残念ですが皆さんは若いのですからチャンスはたくさんあります近い将来日本に戻ってきてくださいそして JCMU にも来てみてくださいいつか皆さんにまた会えることを楽しみにしていますとにかくお疲れ様でしたどうかお元気で皆さん卒業おめでとうございます皆さんが帰ってから寂しかったですでもオンラインのコースで皆さんの顔が見られてとても楽しかったです今年は皆さんは日本で桜が見られませんでしたね。残念でしたね。でもまた桜を見に日本に来てください。また会える日を楽しみにしています。さようなら。皆さん、今学期はどうでしたか急にアメリカに帰らなきゃいけなくなって大変だったし、とととても残念だだっただろうと思います。でも日本での生活が楽しかった人は手を挙げてください次にまたいつか日本に来たいと思っている人は手を挙げてくださいみんな手を挙げていますよねまたぜひ日本に遊びに来てくださいね楽しみに待っていますからその日まで体に気をつけて元気で頑張ってください。今学期本当にありがとうございました。Uh, When I first came to JCMU, I wanted to come to Japan because,、uh, well, I love Japan and、um, I wanted to improve my Japanese since like, I was not confident or comfortable at all speaking it and I was really scared before. And also, I、uh, wanted to live on my own since back in Michigan.、Um, I lived by my school, so like, you know, I just lived with my parents. So. Yeah. So, what were some of your favorite memories?、Um, uh, first is, you know, just traveling around in general on the weekends, like to Kyoto or Kobe, where we had that expensive bee, <laughs> and like using the trains, just like those kind of little things also. And, you know, with the y u g a k s e i when、uh, we hung out with them at Hikonejo and then had our big. Girls karaoke night. Yeah, like we had like 10 people and then we sang for like three hours. It was, it was a lot of singing.、Um, but yeah, it was really fun.、Uh, I also really enjoyed when we did the internship together at the c h o s h o i n Temple because like there's a lot of kids that they were so high energy. And I guess it really helped me learn more about like teaching, like hanging out with kids and also teaching English and also just learning more about Japanese culture in general. Yeah, and we had like、um, our own handshakes with them too, which was like was really fun and really cute. And I've never really worked with kids before either, so it was a good experience.、Um, I know now that I'm probably not meant for teaching, <laughs> but it was, it, was, it was still a good and fun memory. Yeah,、um, so. Congratulations to everyone on graduating. I feel like from JCMU, I learned to become like a lot more independent, and I had a lot of fun this semester, and I would love to come back if I had the chance. Me too. Omedito. I feel like、yeah. I've also grown a lot, and I hope to come back soon. JCMU no mina san, honto ni arigato gozaimas. Watashi no ryugaku no seikatsu wa totemo tanoshkata des. Hikone ni mudori tai des. JCMU でたくさんことを習って、皆さんは優しくて、JCMU に行ってよかったです
私の一番好きなことは皆さんのポットラックのこととあの JC ミューのプログラムですあのクラスはとても楽しかったですあの私の経験を覚えられません本当にありがとうございます Um, everyone at JCMU, thank you very much.、Um, my time at JCMU was very fun and I will miss it terribly.、Um, I learned lots of things at JCMU and everyone was really nice and it just it was the best experience I could have asked for.、Um, I really, really want to return to Hikone and Japan in general and I hope to see you in the future. Um, my favorite things at JCMU were the potlucks that we had、uh, together and also JCMU's programs.、Um, class was so fun, and I'm glad that I'll still have class one last time today and tomorrow.、Um, my experience, I, I'll never forget it. It truly was the best thing I could have asked for out of this.、Um, so, again, Thank you so very much, and I hope to see you again. JCMU の皆さん、お元気ですか一生懸命日本語を勉強し続けていますか一生懸命じゃなくてもいいです。大切なのは今できることですよ。それは日本語勉強だけではなく、自分の健康と周りの人の健康のためにも、みんなはもう一言があると思いますが、この一言してます七転び八起き。なんでスカイラはそんなにプロレスラー好きなのか誰も考えてないけどプロレスラーは七転び八起きという一言のように闘志でいっぱいだからです体が痛くても何より立ちたくなくなってももう一回立ち上げます私は皆さんが今プロレスラーのように強くなってほしいです皆はそれぞれ違う理由で g c ミに来ましたその目的を絶対に忘れてほしくありませんそれさえ思い出せば痛みがあっても何より諦めたくなっても夢に向かって頑張る気持ちになれると信じています諦めなければ光は見えます皆さんこれからも頑張ってください、うん